How did you do with this week's Excel challenge? Our Excel expert, Claudia Buckley, has the solution, so let's check it out. Were you able to get the Agent Performance Incentive Worksheet to do what we wanted? We wanted you to use two of the most commonly used functions in Excel in your solution. Here goes. Since each agent's attendance is represented as a percentage of the number of business days, we have to look up exactly how many days the employee reported to work. For this, the VLOOKUP function works perfectly. So we type equals VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. Our lookup value will be using the employee number to do our lookup, comma, the table array is the attendance data set, so all the way across and all the way to the end. We'll make the reference to this data set fixed so that copying the formula is easier. We can just hit F4 on a Windows keyboard or Command T on an Apple computer. The next argument is the column index number. Now the last column of this data set already shows us the number of days the employee came to work, but VLOOKUP wants you to state the column number of this data set. So you can do this in one of two ways. You can either count the number of columns manually, or you can insert a row where you have the column numbers listed going across. For us, it's kind of easy because we can count one, two, three columns, plus we know there are 28 days in February. So that takes us to 31 columns, making this the 32nd column. We can just enter 32 here. And since we want an exact match on the ID numbers, we want to type false here. Close parenthesis and enter. So we need not the number of days the employee came to work, but the number of days as a percentage of the total business days that month. So that'll be divided by the number of business days that month. That's this value in AF3. This will be a fixed value too, so F4 again. So our first employee had an attendance percentage of 75% that month. We can drag or double click on the fill handle to copy this formula to the remaining rows. And we have everyone's attendance percentage here. Great, time for call quality. This one is a simple lookup. We just go with VLOOKUP. We use the employee number again as our lookup value. The table array is gonna be the call quality data set all the way to the end. F4 to make this a fixed reference. We need the data from the fourth column and again, an exact match. Close parenthesis and enter. Call quality is 100% for the first employee. Double click and it's filled in for all the others. For average daily sales, again, we start with VLOOKUP. Lookup value table array is here. Make that a fixed reference, comma. It's the fourth column again, and this will be an exact match also. But the average daily sales is based on the number of days this employee came to work. So we have to divide that by the number of days. So again, we need that lookup value. coming from the attendance worksheet. Make that fixed. We're using column 32 and an exact match. So our average daily sales for Lorraine Anderson is four and filled in for all the others. So now we have all the data that we need to calculate the incentive all together on this one worksheet. Let's see how our agents stack up in terms of their points. We'll use the IF function to control how the points are awarded. The criteria that's here will be our guide. And so we start with our first IF function. If the attendance that's here is greater than or equal to 
we want to display the number 1. Otherwise, display 0. Close parenthesis. And of course, she got a 0 because her attendance was 75%. Let's go across to call quality. We want to say if the call quality score, that's this one, is equal to 100%, we want to award two points. Now, since there are three possible outcomes, we'll need to nest another if formula in here. So we type a comma, and then we start with another if because this is the second possibility. If, and again, an open parenthesis, if the call quality is greater than or equal to 90%, then we want a value of one point. But if neither of these conditions is true, then award zero points, close parenthesis on the inner formula, and close on the outer, hit enter, and she got two points because her call quality was 100%. Let's do average daily sales. The principle is the same. Equals if, our logical test, if the average daily sales is greater than or equal to two, then we want to award two points. If not, there are two more possibilities. So let's use another if function open parenthesis, if the average daily sales is greater than or equal to one, then award one point. But if neither condition is true, then zero, and two close parentheses. Enter, and she got two points. We can highlight and copy all these formulas all the way to the end. So this next part is easy, totaling the points using the sum function, copying to the remaining rows. And now since we wanted color-coded icon sets, we go to conditional formatting. We go to icon sets here, and this is the group that we want to use. But Excel uses its own default method, which isn't the one we want. So we've got to go in, manage, and edit the rule. We want to format our icons based on the number that's in that column. So if the number is greater than or equal to five, which in this case, it'll only be a maximum of five, we want it to be green. And we'll change the second icon set to number also. So if the number is less than five and greater than or equal to the number four, we want it to be amber. And for all other numbers, we want them to be red. Click OK and apply. And now the icon sets have been applied to all the numbers in this column. The final step is to use the if function to assign the bonus amounts to each agent. So now we just get into column K and type if the value here is equal to five, we want to see $100. But since there are three possible outcomes, we need another if formula. If the value is equal to four, we want $50. Otherwise, no bonus. Two close parentheses, hit enter. And our first agent gets $50. Double click. And the incentive has been applied. Did you have fun working on this challenge? Hopefully it gave you some ideas on how you can get Excel to do some of your heavy lifting. See you next time. So there it is. Did you get the same results? Did you use the same approach? Or did you try something different? We'd like to know. Share your take on the challenge in the comments below or join us for more discussion in our Slack channel. Link in the description. Thanks for participating and make sure to subscribe to this channel to get an alert when the next challenge is released. We'll see you then.